delays, lost luggage, long lines. They are all side effects of the airline industry struggling to get back on its feet after massive layoffs because of COVID-19 and the lockdowns. And this morning, Andrea Albers is live at General Mitchell Airport with ways that you can travel smarter. Andrea, good morning. I feel like we all could use these tips, especially this time of year. Yeah, you're right, Simone, and the proof is right behind me. There's a pretty large line of passengers waiting to get through TSA checkpoints. Right now, the TSA says they're screening 2 million people per day, and that's nearing what we saw pre-pandemic. So the advice from the TSA is the same advice you'll get here from airport staff at Mitchell. They say arrive at least two hours early. That's the current recommendation. And while we are seeing a return to pre-pandemic travel levels, the way we travel is changing. You'll see more acrylic barriers as you move through TSA checkpoints and new touchless technology. You might notice um, it's not in place at every checkpoint all the time, but there are times when you approach the uh, TSA officer and he says, I don't need your boarding pass, I only need your ID. We have a machine called Credential Authentication Technology where when we scan your ID to verify it's authentic, it also tells us that you're flying out that day. So that's one example of new technology. If that sounds different than the last time you traveled, it's the reason why you need to listen to the instructions being given by TSA officers. It will help you get through the lines more quickly. Reporting live at Mitchell Airport, Andrea Albers, TMJ4 News. Certainly ways to travel yeah, smarter. Yeah, Andrea actually had that. Oh, go ahead, Doc. Had that the last time I flew out. Just use your ID and get you right through. Easy peasy.